from the GG shop. I want to uh, explain something some, and address some issues that I had with people that uh, very kindly got my absolute blonde font. Now, first of all, for the people that uh, said this is not working on Mac, uh, Mac OS, now, guys, please, uh, I'm using a Mac right now. Please let me explain what could be happening. Uh, I want to show you I am on a Mac right now. Okay. You can see Mac OS Ventura. I uh, have uh, an updated Mac. So, uh, first advice, please uh, be sure your machine is updated, but I guess it's going to be updated for sure. Um, now, uh, when we developed the font, we wanted to give a very, when I say we, I mean me and the guy who was paid to develop the font because I was, I mean, I am a, a graphic designer and an illustrator, but I cannot develop font. And we thought Absolute Blonde, I thought Absolute Blonde could be a nice name for what I wanted this font to be. But sometimes, uh, you know, um, sometimes you think you are going to do something and then you forgot, you forget to do. Uh, when you, I want you to pay attention because when we uh, install the font, we are not going to have absolute blonde on the list, on the font book. So if you keep looking on the A font, that goes by A as a first letter, you will not find it because we uh, gave a temporary name in the phase of development, which was GG, double G. And at the very end of the day, I forgot to tell the guy, hey, please, can you, can you change the name and make it absolute blonde and remove double G, G, G. So it remained G, G. I know it sucks, but... I mean, it was my first experience. I'm sorry. Um, now, having said that, I want to show you how to obtain the classic Barbie look. On Photoshop, we are on Photoshop right now. Um, you uh, choose a white uh, color for the text. Uh, what can we write? Can we write Barbie? Yeah. Okay, Barbie. Make it a bit bigger so everyone can see mm, okay let me move my layer so you can these are hell of a big window okay now we have our white text okay we want to double click and create a pink outline okay I'm placing 17 pixels, it could be smaller, it could be bigger, it could be anything you want. Now, uh, I'm gonna do something easy. When you have your outline done, please merge the layer, okay? So you have completely raster layer. Now, you, ha you have just done this and you want to double click, okay? Now choose outside shadow important this is very important um, for this kind of look the barbie look with the bold shadow in pink you want to write here you want to have an angle as 120 if you want that specific look, okay? And you add a little bit, a little bit, okay? Uh, in the distance, you want to give 
somehow 20, 25 pixels of shadow. And when you have done this, you want to merge the layer. So you have again a raster layer, okay? Now you want to repeat the same action without touching any of this information. You should have it on default again as the same as previously. You have just done this, okay, merge the layer. You have it merged twice. Now, again, merge the layer again. You are going to repeat this action until you are not satisfied with, uh, with, your, uh, with your text. Okay, perfect. Uh, I think I like it. <laughs> and this is it. It is, it is very easy, you guys. Okay, uh, please, if you have questions, if you need help, uh, I will try to give all the help that I can provide and do not hesitate to send me inbox. Please be nice to me. I don't want to, uh, I'm not, I'm not selling something that is not working because this was created in 2017. So it's seven years we have this absolute blonde slash GG font. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but really guys, it, I really didn't want to give you uh, problems. It was outside my, I don't know, my control. Okay, if you like the video, give a like or give a dislike. In both cases, it's gonna help <laughs> the engagement and the algorithm. So um, share the video, whatever. Uh, I wish you the best weekend ever. Bye.